It's the judiciary is once again embroiled in a mud fight. This time, senior counsel Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, who has been a constant critic of the judiciary, has been permanently barred from appearing before the Supreme Court. In a letter addressed to Ahmed Nasir, the office of the Registrar of the Supreme Court has accused a seasoned lawyer of constantly scandalizing, ridiculing, and denigrating the Supreme Court. And as NTV's Sidney Chazima now reports, a host of senior lawyers have come to the defense of Ahmed Asir, who has laughed off the ban. The protracted spat between senior counsel Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi and the Supreme Court of Kenya has reached a nasty crescendo. A letter addressed to the senior counsel by the registrar of the Supreme Court, L.M. Washira, has expressed the Supreme Court's decision to permanently bar the seasoned lawyer from appearing before it, either in his own capacity, through an employee of his law firm or any other person holding brief for him or acting pursuant to his instructions. The Supreme Court Registrar's letter has based its decision on what is being termed as constant attacks from the senior lawyer conveyed through print, broadcast and social media, which have been deemed to have scandalized, ridiculed and denigrated the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court argues that Ahmed Nasir was under caution against his attacks on the highest court of the land, making reference to the case of the Republic versus Ahmad Abdul Fadi, Mohammed and Anor senior counsel petition of 2018, where Ahmed Nasir was made aware that any further attacks will not go unpunished. But in reaction to the ban, senior counsel Ahmed Nasir, or the Grand Mullah, as he is fondly referred to in the corridors of law, has laughed off the Supreme Court's decision. According to his post on X, the Supreme Court's decision is one he takes as a badge of honor. He goes ahead to term the court as the most corrupt in Kenya. Equally, senior practitioners of the law in the shape of Retirement Benefits Board Chair Nelson Harvey and Omwanza Ombati have termed the Supreme Court's decision as troubling, bizarre, unlawful and unconstitutional. Harvey goes on to argue that the decision will be quashed by the High Court and further result in embarrassment of the Supreme Court. At the time this report went on air, Ahmed Nasir had not responded to NTV and promised to do so in due course. The Supreme Court, aware of a possible quest for redress from the lawyer, quips that it is untenable that Ahmed Nasir would seek justice in the very institution and before the very judges whose reputation and integrity he never tires of assaulting. It is still not clear whether the senior counsel will challenge the Supreme Court's decision, bearing in mind he still bears the right to appeal. Sidney Chazima, NTV.